Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Mike from Watershare Recovery, a top-notch data recovery tool. And today we're going to talk about how to delete a corrupted file in Windows. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe because very often we make such kind of easy to follow and detailed tutorials. When it comes to deleting corrupted files in particular, it's one of the most challenging tasks to solve in Windows. And before we talk about the solutions, let us talk about the reasons. A corrupted file is basically a damaged file. Besides not being able to delete it, you also cannot open it, cannot rename it, cannot copy, move and so on. Well, that's already quite an unpleasant situation. You know, this can happen with pretty much any type of a file. Could be something in program files, in the Windows folder, documents and settings, a picture, a video, a music file, and so on. Thing is, is that most of these corruptions have something in common. And usually, the major suspects could be a power delivery issue, or it could be a file system problem, could be a hardware problem, could be a sudden power outage, could be an update issue, a virus or malware, and most unpleasant would be if your hard drive is really defect. If you're confronting this problem and trying to fight it, don't worry because you're not alone. We have collected for you three very easy to follow solutions and one bonus extra tip which I'm going to share at the end of this video. So let's get started. Without further ado, let's go to solution one, which is, I believe, the most simple one in the world. Try to make a reboot. It's not a joke. Make a reboot and could be that after the reboot, after you try to delete the file, it's going to be successful. Also, keep in mind that certain files might require certain privileges. You might have to be administrator. So let's begin. Go to the start menu and perform the reboot first. Then from all the accounts, choose the administrator account and sign with the administrator password. Note that this step may not be necessary if your account already has administrator privileges. You can either drag this to the recycle bin or hit the delete key or press Shift and Dell if you believe this should disappear permanently. If that solution helped, then great. If not, now we go to solution 2. It's called safe mode. There are plenty of ways to go into safe mode, but I think this one is the easiest. So you need to restart the computer. Now, that's the tricky part. Before you see the logo of Windows, you need to immediately press the F8 button. Note that for some of the latest editions of Windows, this might not be working well, therefore you might have to follow a slightly different procedure. Now, once you see this setup screen, just troubleshoot. Then go ahead and select Advanced Options. The next thing you need to click on is Startup Settings. And then we go ahead and select Enable Safe Mode. In Safe Mode, there are a lot of things which are happening. First of all, all the third-party apps are disabled and your account is given a bit more privileges. So what we are going to do is exactly the same as we did with the previous method. So we go ahead, we locate the file and we drag it to the recycle bin or try to delete it with the delete or the ship delete key combination. Did that work? I really hope so. But if it didn't, don't worry because we have solution 3. Let's go ahead and launch command prompt. Easiest way, we go to the start menu and type CMD. Once we see the icon, we right click, we run as administrator. In order to delete the files while we are using this method, it's essential for us to know the file path where the file is actually residing. We're going to make something simple here, deleting a file from the C drive. Type del slash f slash q slash a, then the file path, and we attempt to delete the file. The f parameter stands for force, the q parameter is targeting read-only files, and the a parameter would enable you deleting archived files. So these are our best three ideas about how you can delete a file which is corrupt. And maybe if you know some other ways, feel free to talk about them in the comment section below this episode. Now I'm going to offer you a bonus tip because among all these files that we are deleting, sometimes accidents happen or sometimes when we go into safe mode and we try to recover some stuff, there could be a number of files which get marked as unreadable. So in case we want to recover all of that, we need a professional grade software. So I'm going to show you all the power that you can get from Recovery. Let's get started. 
This software is a phenomenal tool that can help you to recover your data with just three simple steps, even for corrupt files. All we have to do, download and install on the system, then just launch and choose the certain location to start recovering files. This is the place where we are going to be searching for the files to be recovered. As soon as you select the drive, click the start button. This is going to initiate a scanning procedure to search for all the items that have been deleted. During the process, you can add filters, pause the scan process, or simply stop running it according to your convenience. At the final step, you are required to preview and recover the lost data. Once the process of scanning is complete, you are going to be able to see the recovered files. Click on every file in order to check it. Save all the files after checking. You can do that by clicking on the Recover button. So that's all for today's episode, my dear friends. And that's true, sometimes deleting corrupted files could be a tricky procedure, but I hope that any of those three scenarios that we have presented to you has worked well and eventually you managed to do whatever you were looking for. And hopefully this bonus tip is going to guarantee that you're no longer going to lose any precious and important information. And that's what we do here to help you recover your data. So if you like this kind of idea and practical data tutorials, Subscribe to our channel. I'm Mike. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye.